Hey guys, I am so excited about today's video because today's video is going to be a haul, like makeup haul, except for I'm going to put it on too, so it's going to be kind of a first impressions, but I'm going to do this kind of like uh, Kathleen Lights does hers, where I'm going to talk about the items with you right here and now and insert a clip of me putting the items on so I can give you my first impression and after I've had it on for a little while. Um, hopefully, if you guys like this, I will be doing more of this type of first impressions. Um, let me know down below if you like this or if you like to do it with me live. Um, I did it this way because I have a lot of items, obviously, over Christmas and the break with all the sales and everything. I made a lot of purchases, <laughs> so I have a lot of things for you today. Um, so yeah, let me know if you like that down below. If you like makeup videos and enjoy this one while you're watching, I hope you like it and possibly subscribe. Um, yeah, but if you're interested, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing I put on is this Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer. Now, I love their primerizer, if you didn't know. So I was really excited to see this because I love vitamin C so much for my skin. Um, and I liked it. It felt really um, light and fresh and it smelled fresh and kind of like citrusy. I mean, I'm wearing a matte foundation today, so I think it did a pretty good job of giving me a glow and not making me look matte. But I felt like this did a really good job. I'll obviously have to keep trying it to see if I like it, but so far, so good. All right, next for my base, I used the Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation right here. And I show you the swatches of the foundation and the concealer, I'm gonna put that clip here. This foundation is pretty dark. I don't know if you can tell, but here, let me. Give you a little, I think you can tell. I think you can tell. I'm not 100% sure because there's blinding lights in my face, um, but I think you can tell. Um, I don't, I, I don't know. It's pretty dark. Um, I was nervous about this because it's matte and I have dry skin. And then I went on and looked at the reviews and it was literally like cake city. I never looked so dry. It clung to things I didn't know I had. And I'm like, Okay, but like, I don't know if it looks that dry, guys. I don't know, let's see, hold on. I don't know. I think it looks pretty good, especially for being a matte foundation. I'm gonna obviously have to keep trying it and I'm definitely not gonna buy another shade because I don't need that. <laughs> But uh, so far, so good. I'm actually really surprised with this so far. The next item that I got was the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Long Wear Concealer. I got the shade 1C. It's pretty peachy. I showed you the swatch um, as well, but it kind of worked with the foundation since the foundation was darker. So I don't know if this would be a good color for me regularly. I'll have to check that. But I think so far it looks really, really nice. It's kind of thin, but still hydrating, but not in a super wet, dewy way. Um, I think it looks really nice on my under eyes. So I'm excited to keep playing with that. Next, I threw this in. I wasn't gonna do it, but then I didn't have a powder. Um, and I did recently purchase this, and this is the number seven powder. This is the Lift and Luminate Triple Action Finishing Powder in Light. A lot of people rave about this and say that it is say that it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury um, powders because it's like blurring or something. Um, so that's what that looks like. It's a pretty light color. I only put it right underneath my eyes and a little bit down my T-zone because I knew I was wearing a matte foundation. I didn't know exactly what it was gonna do. Um, I did not feel tacky at all on my face. So I didn't feel the need to powder it and I did use cream bronzer and blush, but I like it. I've used it a couple other times. I would say today's like the third day that I've used it, but I've been using it on different foundations and different concealers almost every day. So I feel like I need to use like some of my staple favorites and then compare it with like another powder that I use and see it side by side. Um, but so far there's nothing drastic about it that I hate, but I don't know if it's amazing like people say you know but you know 
Okay, let's talk about the bronzer and the blush that I used. You guys, I did it. Um, I caved in and I got the Fenty Cream Bronzer. Oh, okay. So I got the shade three macchiato. Now, a few months ago, I got the Fenty powder bronzer and I got the second shade. I got, no wait, did I get the first shade? I got the shade Into Sun in the powder bronzer and that's the shade that all the pale people have been using, all the pale people have been loving. And I got it and I do really love the formula. It is very beautiful, easy to blend. It's like a thin formula, you cannot go overboard. But the thing about that is that it's so light on my skin. It looks so natural. And I really do like to look quite bronzy in, in my opinion. I think it's quite bronzy for how pale I am. I think a lot of people that are as pale as me kind of go for like a contoured look and then go heavy on the blush. I really like a bronzy look. Um, so it just wasn't giving me enough. I love that one, but I kind of wanted the darker shade, but then I was like, I really want to try the cream. So I got shade three, which is actually the shade that um, Sam Ravindahl likes. And I love this. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I was not expecting to love this formula as much. It's so thin. I don't even know how to describe. It's so nice. And look at that, it's still quite neutral. Like it is deep, you know, but it's so blendable and it's not too warm. It's almost kind of like an olive -y color, but I really, really like it on my face. And um, I did not set it and it feels totally good for me. Um, and then I also got the Fenty Cream Blush. I got the shade Petal Poppin because these are kind of expensive for how teeny tiny they are, like teeny tiny. Um, so I wanted to get a shade that I figured that I would probably use like most of the time or the most. Um, and I like this shade. It does look like a very natural situation. This right here is like the glow from it. Beautiful. This was also one of the ones that did not have shimmer in it. I really like this um, decision and I really like this formula. I think it is so pretty. Oof. It, it does look on my finger a little bit brighter than how it goes on your cheeks because it is kind of a sheer formula, very easy to blend. Um, I'm really, really happy that I picked these up. All right, now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow that I have on my eyes right now. First, I wanna tell you guys about the shipping. So I was waiting for this and it said like, it'll be there, let's say it said Monday or something. And then Monday happened and I checked the tracking and it's like, your package is delayed. No reason, no telling me what's going on. I was like, okay, whatever. So Tuesday rolls around, I get the package. <laughs> I get the package and it's in just like this. And I was like, excuse me, there's no bubble wrap. There's no like bubble envelope. There's no box with paper, you know, to help. And it's a, it's a palette, an eyeshadow palette. So I was like, what the heck? But then I saw this. God dang. <laughs> so there was some damage to my palette. This is from Aether Beauty and it got wet. It When it came here, it was still soaking wet. So I mean, at least they got it to me quickly so that possibly depending on what it was, I could save it. Um, so I mean, the box is still wet. I got this yesterday and it's, it's, uh, it's, <laughs> So I was really nervous when I saw this and it took me a while to actually get the palette out of here because of how wet it was but oh, Thankfully the palette itself was not wet at all and the eyeshadows were not ruined at all So precious look at this. Ugh, I love it. Okay So yeah, it's a little bit. I don't know if I can express it to you. There is like Thickness here. Yeah, can you tell how thick that is? So I feel like these kind of protect themselves and it does have this lovely little strap almost like a journal to keep it together so it doesn't have any magnets and, and it can be completely recyclable which I love. So Aether Beauty is really fun because they put actual like gemstones in the shadows. This is the Rose Quartz Crystal Gemstone Palette and let's see it says features 12 shades in ultra matte shimmer duochrome metallic finishes to create softly glamorous looks, crystal charge pigment infused with rose quartz powder to reduce the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, redness, 
while illuminating the skin within its light reflective crystal formulated with coconut oil shea butter and rosehip oil for smooth one swipe application and radiant glowing skin zero waste packaging this palette is fully recyclable so that's super awesome um, they are also cruelty and vegan. Um, it does have all the shades on the back, but it also came with the clear little thing that tells you the shades if you want to keep that. So depending on your preference, you have both options there. Um, okay, so I this is like a very subtle, understated, everyday palette, but it does have some really fun colors. Like this is a duochrome, like gold pink I don't know if you can see the gold shift to it but it it to me it looks yellow and on camera it looks fire pink um so that one's a duochrome these two shades right here this like purpley one and this kind of pink one are those like really wet looking shades really love that I mean I, and it's got some really great basic neutrals I, I love the look that I came up with today um, I love the look this shade um, the pink to gold shade actually reminds me of the one in the Divine Rose one um, the formula is a little bit different um, I definitely feel like they're the color though is similar see how it's like pink and then I don't know if you can see the gold let's see see it's like a sheer color there's absolutely nothing there but let's see I don't know if you can tell but this one is like a, a baked formula it feels like it's very thin um, these some of these are like the creamy kind of shimmers and then ugh, some are like they're like creamy metallic I don't know I can't tell this my new lighting setup makes it so I can't tell anything on my little baby monitor I'm gonna need to get a monitor that's like not behind the light because my eyes cannot adjust um, but I used a lot of shades in here today I would say probably about half of the shades to create this look just because I wanted to keep using the shades the mattes blended out so beautifully so smooth on the eye and I was surprised because of the shades that I used you know I used a warm shade and then I used a cool shade and then I used a gray like so I thought that there would be a little bit of muddiness or something but it really really blended out really nicely um khaki raves about aether beauty all the time and I actually used one of the shades on my face and I think it's beautiful as a highlight um they do have a face palette that has like blush and highlight I think it has highlight in it but they have more than just this palette if you like a different thing um, but khaki raves about these and you know she's not wrong there it's really 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 nice especially for being cruelty free and vegan and like it's not affordable but it's not like hourglass you know what I mean and then I use the climax extreme I got a little mini of it and I, I like it I like it <laughs> it's so far not amazing me and the brush is humongous and I got like a lot of it on the top of my eye I got it in my eye so I don't know if it's gonna replace anything that I'm currently loving but I will keep wearing it obviously I'm gonna use this entire thing and comparing it and we'll see um, you know at the end of the month if it ends up in a favorite or whatever um, but so far, when I first put it on, it doesn't feel like, wow. You know what I mean? It feels like, yeah, that's a mascara. Cool. Good job. You know. So that's how I feel about the mascara. And then I picked up this KKW Beauty Lip Liner. Now, I don't love supporting the Kardashians because that's a wild ride. Um, but... I do know that they're really good at like nudes you know what I mean like that's their their thing especially Kim um, and I I don't know if you can tell this is full of lip liners and eyeliners mostly lip liners and I went from having like six lip liners to having like 40 because I was looking for like the perfect nude um, I found Alamar cosmetics birthday suit is like one of my very favorite nudes 
and then they didn't have it anymore and then they were saying that it might have been like um limited edition which don't worry they have brought it back out it, it has been restocked hopefully it stays forever um but i was like real anxious about that so i started being on the hunt for a good nude and this one looked pretty good and i like it i think it's a really pretty color it's it doesn't look it's a little bit peachy but it has kind of a mauve undertone so it's like right in the middle but it doesn't feel neutral because neutral to me is like something that leans a little bit gray if that makes sense so I would say this is probably warm but it does have a mauviness to it it's not a rosiness if that makes sense anyways I liked it on my lips I like it with this look because this look is a little bit a mix of warm and cool I feel like it's just like the right neutral for this look so I really liked it it was creamy but not too creamy it does feel like it'll stay all right I have one more thing that I purchased that I did not put on my face because it's perfume I picked up this Skylar perfume palette clean hypoallergenic and cruelty free and gosh it has so many like they they also have more perfumes than what's here but the this is meant to be like their simple scents so these are the scents and then up here it gives you like combinations so you can like layer them so i got this just so i can check those out i can't wait to smell them um i'll smell a couple right now let's see isle french ocean oasis beachy dewy fresh Subtle citrus and spiced sandalwood, ocean inspired oasis will have you feeling relaxed, refreshed, and ready to take on the day. You know what? I want to be ready to take on the day. I'm going to just spray this directly on my face. On my face. <laughs> on my arm. Okay. I'm going to tap. Hold on. Give it a second to air out. It's nice. It's like, it is very fresh and airy. I do get a hint of citrus. The sandalwood, the sandalwood almost makes it a little bit powdery, which I don't love, but overall I like it. Mm, let's see, let's see, what else is in here? What about this citrus escape? Citrus sparkling sweet with bergamot, neroli, sparkling wine, vacation vibes. You know what? I think that that goes with the ocean one. Even though they don't have this mixture on here, I'm going to mix it. And I'm going to spray a little bit on my arm. Tap, tap, tap. Let it air out. Ooh, this one's, oh my God, what is that? Oh, there's something so familiar there oh my gosh it smells like <laughs> it smells like a candy it smells like this candy I'm gonna have to look it up I don't know what it's called but it's like that jelly that you eat it's not, it's not a baby bottle pop but it is like one of those kind of candies that is like a function that you have to do and it's like this goo Oh, mixed together though, those smell really nice. But this one smells like candy. If you don't like candy, you won't like it. Um, together, it gives it like, the aisle one gives Capri kind of more of like a base because of that sandalwood. But yeah, it smells like a boardwalk carnival. So it's not like boardwalk with like horses and romance it's like boardwalk with children laughing and cotton candy and ferris wheels because there's still that like ocean air freshness i like it i like it it's not like that combination wouldn't be like my go-to but i like it and it's actually making me miss going outside and the sun the ocean which i haven't seen in years you know my boyfriend is from California. Grew up in California his whole life. Doesn't care about the ocean. How rude. 
How very rude. I grew up in Ohio. I don't care about the snow. I guess they could say the same thing, except for I don't think my boyfriend cares about the snow either. But anyways, <laughs> some of this I bought directly from the company, like the Aether Beauty palette I bought directly from them. The Skylar thing I got directly from them. Some of the things I got from Sephora. I think most of that's from Sephora. And then maybe the lip liner, the KKW, and the Smashbox. Those are from Ulta right? So that is my entire makeup haul. Yes, there still are some goodies that I have not shown you guys yet that I purchased over the holiday season, <laughs> but you will just have to stick around to see those later on. So yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It helps me out so much. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.